Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I am super, super excited because I have great news. I wrote a book, okay? My book is called 12 Case Studies, okay? This book is absolutely amazing. Not only because I wrote it, but because it really is. And I jump right into giving you information on treatment intervention, documentation examples, there's tips and tricks and how to motivate uh, difficult patients. You name it, it's in here. This book is for occupational therapy practitioners. I mean, even if you're not a therapist, it's a great book because it's easy to read and I really break it down on how to use. So please be sure to get your copy today. Just so simply look um, below for the information on how to access the ebook as well as the paperback. All right, guys. So enjoy the video. All right guys, so we're gonna be talking about adaptive equipment for self-feeding. This is my top number one through 25. Some of these you may have already seen or may have even already used, but I think this is gonna be a really great review. So here we go. So number one is your safe straw, okay? Um, you can add the straw. This straw can also be extra long. The white is meant for thin liquids and the blue is meant for nectar thick liquids. This is a drinking aid and it helps to decrease aspiration um, also for people that are suffering from oral motor dysfunction. And it also helps to manage liquid volume. Number two, curved utensil. It can either be curved towards the right or towards the left. This helps to support hand to mouth feeding and also patients that tend to have difficulty with supination. Number three, the scoop dish, which I believe that every uh, occupational therapy clinic or skilled nursing facility should have. This is good for low motor skills. It decreases spillage. It has a grip on the bottom, which is non-skid. If yours does not come with it, you can always use Dyson. Um, this is also meant for patients with limited flexibility, neuro disorder, or ataxia. Number four, nosy drinking cup, okay? You can have it with or without the handles. This provides space for the nose. Um, it reduces the need for the patient to tilt their head while drinking. Um, also, this is beneficial for patients that have poor or no shoulder flexion, wrist extension, head or neck movement. And also for those patients that have cervical collar that needs to be on at all times. Number five, plastic coated spoons. This is meant for protection of your patient's teeth and lips, suffering from spasticity or limited hand control. It's not recommended for heavy bite reflexes. Number six, maroon spoon. This is beneficial for poor lip closure, um, oral hypersensitivity, or tongue thrust. Number seven, portionated plate, or I like to simply call it divided plate. And this is pretty much just a food separator. It has high walls and it keeps the wet sides from coming into the main dish. Uh, usually I would use this for patients that have a pureed diet or patients that simply just don't want their food touching each other. Number eight, food plate guard. The food plate guard uh, stops meals from sliding off the plate. It is movable, uh, so you can position it as appropriate and as needed. Number nine, the long foam flex utensil. It can be bent or positioned at any angle. 
it uh, supports for grasp and, and manipulation um, for those people that have difficulty with that. Number 10, comfort grip utensil. This is usually meant for poor grip. Um, as you can see, I give you some options here on how they would, would look. One is a little bit more like rubbery, and then the other one has a little bit more, um, you know, concave kind of uh, shape. Number 11, Kennedy Cup. I'm not sure if uh, most of you have heard of this before, but this is beneficial for patients dealing with weak grasp. Um, it has a strong seal, um, no leaks when it's turned upside down. So that's one of the key thing to this cup. Number 12, spout cup, or I tend to call it a sippy cup, which supports patients for hand to mouth coordination and it decreases spillage. You'll often see this quite a bit within skilled nursing facilities. Number 13, weighted utensils. Weighted utensils is also something you'll often see in skilled uh, nursing facilities, and this provides stabilization for tremors and often used for Parkinson patients, Parkinson disease patients. I should say it that way. Number 14, dysphagia cup. Dysphagia cup. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this cup permits drinking while tucking chin towards chest. Uh, it gives a normal swallow uh, mechanic. Number 15, the goodie straw, strap. Sorry, the goodie strap. Um, the goodie strap is beneficial uh, for grip support. And it's also portable, so you can move it from one utensil to the other. Number 16, the universal cuff utensil holder. Um, again, you'll probably see this quite a bit within your skilled nursing facilities. This is beneficial for patients that have limited grip or dexterity control. Um, it can be used in different kind of ways, um, hence the term universal. Uh, you can also place it on the patient's palm versus the patient having to hold it with their fingers. Number 17, halo cup. The halo cup reduces um, accidental spills and it provides extra stability and support. Number 18. 18 is the inner lip plate. And this inner, inner lip plate has a high rim around the entire plate and it keeps food in and it prevents food from sliding off the plate. Number 19, uh, the insulated mug um, with lid or without the lid. Um, in my facility, we tend to have just the lid, and this simply just provides a tight seal. Number 20, the Easy Peasy Happy Bowl or Mat. Um, this is great when you have no Dyson available. You'll often see this with uh, toddlers, but this is great to also use for older uh, adults, uh, and it allows the food to stay within and also prevents any um, sliding or movement of the actual plate, which is, which is pretty cool because you don't have to worry about putting a Dyson underneath the plate. Okay, number 21, rocker knife. Rocker knife requires less strength to cut as well as uh, decreased dexterity. Uh, you'll often see this again within facilities for training. Number 22, Novo Cup. This eliminates the need to sit up or raise head while drinking a um, small amount of fluid at a time, and it also helps to reduce choking. 
So the flow is also um, decreased as well. Number 23, easy grip, all-purpose knife. This is for patients that have limited movement in their wrist, arm, and hands, and also have weak hands due to arthritis. This picture shows, you know, pretty much a long breaded knife, but they do come small as well. Number 24, the straw holder. The straw holder, this is something that, you know, I don't really see too often, but it, hey, it can be beneficial, especially for those patients going home. Um, and it simply is a cool little device which allows the, um, the straw from moving, unable to hold the drink uh, for those people that patient that aren't able to hold the drink or drink from a glass and it simply just clicks on and eliminates the need for you to hold a straw. So you're not chasing the straw. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but sometimes patients are like chasing their straw and this really kind of prevents that. And lastly, number 25, the ortho thumbs up cup. This one, uh, I, I'm yet to see, but this is also really cool. Uh, this decreases, this is meant for a patient to have decreased grip strength, um, wrist pain, hand deformities, and need to keep their wrist in a neutral position. So this is also a really cool cup. I hope you, I hope this is beneficial for you guys. I hope uh, you can implement some of these self-feeding adaptive equipment uh, with your patient for use. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, guys. All right?